Evening, guys. Uh, obviously disappointed uh, with the with the result. I think uh, I thought I thought we were we were well in the game. I thought we were playing some nice football. We were we were controlling possession. Uh, lacked lacked something a little bit in the final third. Uh, commitment to score goals a little bit. Uh, half time, I, I I I challenged them to go out there and just raise their game 10-15%. Uh, and and we, we we spoke we spoke about you know the the the, the things that we wanted and, and within two minutes we, we made a mistake that cost us a goal and, and and what I said to the players at the end was is that 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 this is this is the next this is next stage of our development in terms of in two games now away from home there's probably got a lot of players come off and probably thought they've done well probably everyone's feeling that this team's got a nice style and stuff but we've lost both games and that is that is the part of our development that we need to learn very fast particularly in the MLS where away games are are brutally tough and you cannot make individual errors an individual error last week at NYC an individual error in the first Three minutes of the second half has cost us has cost us probably points in a game that was very tight. Uh, I, I, I never thought that they created that much. Never thought that they would look like they were going to score, and uh, th I, I felt as if they were just happy just to play tight and wait for us to make a mistake. And, and unfortunately, we did. We'll start with questions now. First with Franco, then Xavier. Hey, hey Franco. Well, I, I think uh, I think I said it in midweek that that you know I I don't want any excuses from from this team about about Gregory being out. Obviously, he's a big player for us and he's he's a good personality. But we had we had so much quality in the, in the three to four five midfield players that we had. It was a massive opportunity for them, and, and I I just felt as if. I just felt as if their qualities, their qualities in terms of sort of like their technical ability, they didn't really produce what I wanted in terms of sort of like keeping the ball, rotating possession, switching of play. Uh, I thought it was in that area where where we just looked not as composed as what we should. And uh, you know, I, th I think that that those minutes for Bryce would, would will be valuable. Uh, he's going to be a big player for us. Uh, uh, but I just, I just felt as if we didn't quite, quite get hold of that midfield in terms of sort of like the passes, the distribution, and the control that we wanted. Xavier and then Ian. Thanks, Rafa. Good evening, coach. Good evening. Every position on the team has a leader, and in the midfield, it's definitely Gregory. Of course, he wasn't in this game. But who's going to be the person that do you think is going to take that leadership role in the midfield? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we've got, we've got, we've got a lot of leaders in the team. Motta, Motta's a really experienced player that's played at the top level in Brazil. So, uh, and he's played at a higher level than than, than Gregori in in terms of sort of like the their career. So, uh, you know, we've got Motta. We've got a young player in Bryce Duke who's coming in. Who's going to be a, a sensational player. Uh, I believe in these players, and 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 tonight we didn't lose because Gregory wasn't playing. So I th I think we've got to stop all that. Uh, th th there's nothing to do with Gregory tonight that we didn't win this game. It was it was just it was just a little detail in terms of a pass that we made at the start of the second half that didn't quite come off that cost us that first goal that then sent us onto the back foot. So uh, we control possession, we control possession, and. Uh, you know, I, I think I think we've got to put to bed. Gregor is going to be out for five to six months, and and we've got to move on, and we've got to produce, and we're not we're not going to use that excuse for one minute. We didn't lose the game tonight because Gregory wasn't playing. That is that is one hundred percent. Ian, then back to Franco. Thanks, Rafa. Hey, Phil. Uh, you've pushed away results and away offense, away goals a lot this season for you guys. You had three shots on target in the first 15, didn't have another one after that. What tapered off on that end of the field to, to stop getting those those chances, especially in the second half? Well, we stopped. We stopped playing to the game plan, which was switch switches of play. We knew that they was going to be crowded in the middle. We we wanted to use the width in the first 15 minutes. I, th I thought our right side were were sensational. You know, Coco and Harvey down that right side. Uh, and, and, and then we stopped switching to play. We stopped switching out to the right. We, sw we stopped switching out to the left. And we stopped trying to make those midfield players move side to side. We made it more predictable in terms of we were forcing passes through uh, an area where there was probably five, six players. We needed to use our wide players. We needed to use our full backs. And we needed to use the space in wide areas. And, and, and that was my disappointment and, and is what I told them at the end. Go ahead, Franco. Last question. Phil, uh, I asked last 
speak about, about Joseph. And he, he did have one chance today that, that he had uh, in front of goal that he didn't put into the back of the net. How far is he from getting to 100% sharpness of this? I understand you know, he's probably been thrown into leading that line sooner than you guys probably wanted to when you guys initially had the plan of Campana and Joseph. But he is the, the nine right now. So how far is he from the best version of himself? And obviously, if I can ask a quick second one on, on Harvey. Um, gets the start today. I'm sure it's a proud moment as, as a coach and dad, but just what do you think of, of his first MLS start? Well, I mean, I'm only going to say one thing on how I thought I thought he was outstanding in his game. I thought he showed, you know, when you put young players in, like when Ben Hart got on at the end and, and Harvey started, you, the big thing you look for is the temperament. The temperament, can they handle playing in an MLS game? And I think I think in the games that he's played, and particularly today, his first start, he proved that he can he can handle playing in an MLS game. His composure on the ball and, and his technique was, was was I thought, was fantastic. So I'm really happy with him. Uh Joseph's close, close to getting back. We just need to keep, we just need to keep pushing him. Uh, he knows that there's more to come. We know that that, that we need more from him. Uh, we'll have Leo back soon, which will be a big help for him. I, I know that, and uh, the goals will come. I've got, I've got no doubt that Joseph Martinez will will be a part of our success this year in terms of his contribution to the team. He's frustrated. He's like a, he's a striker that needs one goal, and it needs to go in off any part of his body. Uh, at the moment, it's not doing that, but but the goals will come. He's away from international duty now, which will be good for him to mentally mentally get a different environment. But when he comes back for the uh, Cincinnati game, we expect him to be uh, firing on all cylinders. Thanks, guys.